time for the Energy Surf Report. Namaste. This is Melissa Sanangelo, the Groovy Goddess. Welcome to Center for Balance, my YouTube channel. And I placed my largest crystals, have this big amethyst, it's beautiful, and this clear quartz. And this is um, black tourmaline. So I placed these out with our super moon last night. And oh my goodness, they feel so much stronger, heavier. It's, it's interesting. And when I was shuffling the cards just now, the cards were, the energy, the cards were flying out of the, the deck. And I was like, no, hold on to the messages because I have a lot of information for you. So I have some information about the full moon. So this, the full moon that happened yesterday at 9.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is uh, in Libra, zero degrees. The element is air. The ruler is Venus. And the theme is relationship with oneself and others. Emotional balance, self-esteem, mirrors, new phase, astrological new year. And so I wanted to say something about the mirrors. It's really interesting to me if you're following a twin flame journey, because that is all about relationships that mirror each other. Um, and that cause triggers and running and chasing phase. It's really interesting to me that all those readers are saying that a big union, a big wave of twins is going to come into union at this time. And so when I look at the astrology readings, people that are not into the twin flame journey, they say things like, the theme of this full moon is all about relationships with oneself and others, emotional balance, self-esteem, mirrors, new phase, astrological new year. It all just coincidentally sequences in with each other. And so I just thought I would throw that out there for you. Um, so let's see. The, the full moon in Libra, we also have um, a Mercury retrograde. We're coming into Aries season. So whenever the sun enters into Aries, it's the spring equinox. This season marks a new year of the zodiac, new beginnings. Um, so this is all happening at the time of the full moon. So that creates, it could create tower-like changes maybe like changes that don't look so great. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is a good change kind of thing. So it's a change for new opportunities. Um, and then you meet your emotions at their climax, right? And, and then they balance right away. So it's almost like you have this huge emotional realization and then you're able to come to terms with it and move forward. Um, uh, let's see what else. So it's all about new beginnings, starting new, um, things you planted in the last Venus retrograde are now coming to, coming to fruition. So back in the Venus retrograde that made us question our relationships. Um, you may have had some endings back then, uh, rational changes. Um, so that was back in October. And now thing and what it, so basically whatever you planted in October is now coming right in spring growing. So where the moon will be translating indicates what calls for emotional balance in your life and your internal work. So I'm going to go through the astrology signs. So if you're Aries, this full moon is bringing the area of relationships, weddings, partnerships, laws, and justice. If you're a Taurus like I am, um, hence the area of service-based work, health, routines, and habits. Gemini, which I also am because I'm on the cusp, is in the area of creativity, um, fertility, children, and dating. Cancer, the area of home, family, 
your roots, the past, and the internal world. Leo, the area of communication, education, brothers, and neighbors. Virgo, the area of finances, possessions, and your value system. Libra, the house of self, your appearance, and your personality. Scorpio, the area of unconscious dreams, karma, confinement, working under the radar. Sagittarius, the area of networks, group of friends, connections, efforts, and goal setting. Capricorn, the area of career, public image, and reputation. Aquarius, in the area of travel, higher knowledge, book publishing, adventure, foreign people, and countries. And Pisces, in the area of investments, inheritance, and debts. Also in the area of death, rebirth, and the shadow side of sexuality. Okay. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to um, read to you guys is I woke up this morning with this song in my head, Dancing in the Moonlight by King's Harvest. And this is not a song that I would say is my favorite or, I mean, I know it, of course. Um, but I was like, let me look up the words. And when I looked up the words, I thought this is kind of interesting. We had this super moon, full moon, and then I woke up with this song in my head. So I'm going to read through you the words. We get it almost every night when that old moon gets a big and bright. It's a supernatural delight. Everyone's dancing in the moonlight. Everybody's, everybody here is out of sight. They don't bark and they don't bite. They keep things loose. They keep things light. Everyone was dancing in the moonlight. Everyone's dancing in the moonlight. Everyone's feeling warm and right. It's such a fine and natural sight. Everyone's dancing in the moonlight. We like our fun. We never fight. You can't dance and stay up tight. It's a supernatural delight. Everyone's dancing in the moonlight. And I totally feel like if we all just embraced the lyrics of this song, it would be a different world, right? So maybe that's what we all need to step into. So with that, I'm going to pull some cards. So I, I wrote down three questions. The first question is, what is the energy for everybody now? And I'm going to pull from the Psychic Tarot, John Holland. This car, card came out, Stand Your Ground, number seven. Stand your ground. So this speaks to me as if you are living in your authentic self, if you are speaking your truth, if you are taking care of yourself, if you know something in your heart is right and everyone else is telling you it's wrong, Stand your ground. I'm going to read it from the book, though, so you can know what. And this is a, um, I believe, this is a spiritual card. It is purple. So also, I think if you're having a spiritual awakening and others are saying that you're crazy or what's going on or they don't understand, stand your ground. This card comes at a time when you're being tested and challenged. There are many, there may be fierce competition and potential rivals surrounding you in your personal or business life, but know that you have the strength, the inner courage to stand your ground. No matter how hard things may appear, don't surrender or give up control. Be brave and stay true to your core values and belief system, which are your best allies and will help you move forward. It is important to remain clear and focused. If you may have to stand alone and defend your convictions to the end, maintain your health and stay strong so that you have an ample supply of energy to endure anything. This could be a long yet ultimately hard won victory. Yes, I've been there. So then the next question I have is what needs to be healed to align, um, you know, with this for everyone, for everyone to align 
on this planet to have love and abundance <laughs> and the crown chakra popped out and I would not want any other card because this is basically saying connect with your crown chakra connect with your spirit know that we are a spirit in a vehicle of a physical body here on earth and we're here to learn and teach others and um look at seven seven both of these cards are seven seven that is crazy so connect with the crown if you don't know about the chakras then um, you can check out my videos further. I have a lot of chakra videos and meditations on this channel. Okay, the last question that I had was, what is hidden that needs to come out for each of us? This is the um, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. I like this deck because it talks about what is hidden. And, oops. And these cards are just coming out. <laughs> the cosmos, creativity, vastness. So this is what's being hidden that needs to come out for each of us. And basically that is our spirituality, the connection with the crown chakra. And if you're already there and you're having pushback, stand your ground. That's pretty much it. Um, and what's interesting I have the 7-7 seven, seven card. This is the 41 card, but if if you switched the numbers and put the 1 in front of the 4, you would have 14. I don't know. I just thought that was crazy kind of coincidence. All right. Let me read this card to you. <clears throat> The cosmos appears always as an ally and never as a challenger. Creativity in all forms is represented by the cosmos. This is a sign to place your attention on creative projects, and they will succeed. Remember that all of life is creative, and you're always co-creating with the divine. The, yeah, so tap into your heart, your ground chakra, so you can start co-creating with the cosmos. This teaches us that every intention we set is in fact contagious with the power to influence others. We are entangled at our deepest energetic place so we can help have an effect on others from the individual level to a global one. And like I've always said, take care of yourself first and then that will ripple out into the world. This is a sign to remind you to open up to the well of creative deep creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions both are influencing your outer world most important keep taking keep taking action towards your goals as the cosmos respond perfectly to manifest your highest destiny expect to be inspired and to be meaningful meaningfully touch others with all that you create all right, you guys, I, um, I feel like that's a really good reading. Please comment, subscribe, tell me what's going on. If you're having a spiritual awakening and you need some help in any way, you need an energy reading, a healing, I'm here for you. You can check out my website at spasanangelo.com. All right, you guys, I wish you many, many blessings. Namaste.